simplify that. Minus 8y cubed dy equals 0. Equals 0. Okay. So, so it looks like this. And the question is obviously to solve the differential equation. Okay. So whenever it's written like this, you have some stuff, dx, some stuff, dy, it's probably going to be exact. Right? If it's not, then that was you know, me being tricky. Right? So. <laughs> All right, so this is your n. And this is your, what do you think this one is? N. N. Good. Whoa, 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 carried away. N, N. <laughs> Doesn't include the dy. <laughs> the whole thing is the N. It swallows it all. No, okay. Um, so that's a compute. Let's see. So del N. Del what? Del y. 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 Yeah. You know, the del, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, so del N del Y. Um, so what's, 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 what's del N del Y in this case? Uh, five. five. Yeah, because the derivative here is zero, so it's just five. And then here we have del n del x. And then, so here, what's, what's del n del x? Five. Five, so it's exact, right? So exact. So you get some points on the test, right? If, if you like, if you stop here, it's like, I don't know what to do, sad face. You know, I'm going to give you some credit <laughs> for at least realizing that it's exact. If you don't realize it's exact, no credit. And it happened. It happened. I remember last semester it happened to this girl. She was just like, oh, I didn't know it was exact. I'm like, sorry, minus 15. <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> she didn't even try. <laughs> she tried to separate. She thought it was separable. I'm like, no. <laughs> so, all right. So this means, okay, what does this mean? So we're using some, some, some high-level notation here. This means there exists, okay? That's what the symbol means in mathematics. Exists. Okay. Ex exists. Ag exists. It's an existential quantifier. Well said, Meredith. Yes. This is the exist. I can't say it. What is it? <laughs> existential, existential quantifier. Existential quantifier. <laughs> there exists some unknown function f. What do you think st means? Such, such that. Pretty solid, James. Such that there exists a function f such that the total oh differential of the function is this. Such that. So del f, so such that what? I'll write it just this once. Uh, I'll write it up here. Del f, del x, dx, plus del f, del, which is a little bit taller, dy equals zero. So it means that, okay? So, so del f, del x is 3x plus 5y, okay? And then, and then del f, del y, del f, del y would be um, 5x, Minus eight y cubed. Good fellow. These are not hard, by the way. I did most of the homework pretty quickly. I think two two was probably the worst. I know some of you were saying two three was a breath of breath of fresh air. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. I think this section wasn't wasn't bad. Two five is the worst. <laughs> so it's coming up. <laughs> worst is yet to come. Any any questions up to here? Anything hazy at all? Does it make sense? Do you have time? No questions. All right. Good stuff. All right, so now what you do, no questions, everyone's still living? Okay, so, so you pick one and you integrate, okay? So pick whichever one you want, it's up to you. So I'm gonna pick this one and integrate it, okay? So I'm gonna integrate. So integrate, so I won't write it, you can write it, integrate. So f of x, y, I really wanna write it, int, 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 int. And we're integrating with respect to what variable? X. X, yeah, x. So here it's gonna be, 3x squared over 2. two. All right, good. Plus uh, 5 xy. XY. I was going to say y, x, but I, I prefer xy. Very good, Steve. Steve. Plus, now in cup 1, you add an unknown constant. But since we're integrating with respect to x and we have a partial derivative, we have to add an unknown function of y. So I'm going to call it little g of y. Okay? That's standard. You always do that. So instead of adding an unknown constant, we'll add an unknown function. So if you're just taking count from now, you're going to feel like a rock star of the class. You can raise your hand. Like, oh, I know what that is. It's like, oh, yeah, partial. Like, you'll, 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 yeah. You can tell them you're soft hot. All right, so, so. <laughs> and then now, okay, so we've used this condition. So now we have to use this one. So now we're going to differentiate this guy with respect. I'm going to put diff. So you, you integrate one, then you differentiate it again. Now, now we're differentiating with respect to y. And this is the part where people always get confused. So you integrate it once, and then you differentiate it again. Now, if you just differentiate with, with respect to x, you're going to go in a death loop, right? Nothing's going to get accomplished. <laughs> so you have to use this. So, so del f, del y, and this piece is just going to be 0, right? This piece here, this derivative is 5x. Thank you. Good save. 
And this one here is just g prime of y. Okay. So all we've done is we integrated one time and we differentiated. Let me, let me pause here because uh, there's, there's easier ways to do this, right? There's an easier way to do this. Uh, but it's not that great. Maybe at the end of class, maybe if Zach wants to, Zach, you want to do one at the end of class, maybe? Sure. At the end of class, I'll let Zach show you another way to do it, which is easier, but you just gotta go over the rest. Okay, so, so you integrate one time and then you differentiate and you get this. All right, so this is del f del y. This is del f del y. So these two must be what? The same. The same equals. So I'm gonna do it in another line because for some reason when I do it in the same line, everyone always gets confused. So. So, so it's del f del y, it's 5x plus g prime of y is equal to 5x minus 8y cubed. See, what I usually do is I just write it down here. I just go over here and I just do this. Right? Why, why would I write it again? It's too much work. So I just do this usually. But this causes confusion for people, so I'll write it in a separate line so you see it. And then look, what, what cancels in this case? The 5x. So we get g prime of y equals negative 8y cubed equals negative 8y cubed. And now we got to integrate this thing, right? And then when we integrate this, we can add c, but we won't. Because right? remember, at the, end, at the end, the last one has the c, right? So we don't have to worry uh, about that, right? So we don't have to add the c until the end. Any questions up to here? Anything? All right, so this is g of y. We're definitely going to have time to start 2.5 today. I feel like we, we got this. Class doesn't end until... 8.10. Um, what? 8.10. That was 8.40. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's, I'll, I'll look. All right. This is negative <laughs> 5 to the fourth over 4. Plus C. We'll add the constant later. Yeah. I'm going to look. All right, so... So we just integrate that with respect to y. It's 810. It's 810? Damn it. We'll still make time. We'll still start to five. We'll make time. All right. And so then uh, we're almost done. So now here's our f. So uh, the final answer is always what? f of xy equal to what? C. C. Good. Always. Every time. So you just take this. Good, Caitlin. So it's 3x squared over 2. Taking it from here. Plus 5xy plus little g, the little g was this guy, yeah, little g of y, and it's all equal to what? C. C. That's it. That's it. That's it. You solve an exact equation. So they're not that bad. Right? They're not that bad. So any questions on that one? Anything at all? When we differentiate, is it always going to be del f del y? Or do you, is that part of the choosing? Yeah, you could have integrated this one and then differentiated with respect to this one. Uh